It's 2 a.m. with Nathan. Psalm 42, 1. As the deer pants after streams of water, so my soul pants after you, O God. What is it that makes you thirsty? What do you pant after? Is it company with other people? Maybe you're panting after being in church again. Maybe you're panting after just getting some food or just getting a little bit of satisfaction, a little bit of rest. Not everything is going to satisfy us, though. Even if we think it's going to satisfy us, it doesn't always do that. You know, this evening, I had a little bit of a headache, and I asked my wife to get me some Tylenol, and, and I said, uh, why don't you give me a glass of milk with that? I love ice-cold milk. But she said, milk with medicine, Nathan? I don't think so. She said, you need some water. I said, I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood for milk. It helps relax me. I, I really think I'd, I'd like that. She said, Nathan, how much water did, did you drink today? And I started thinking about it. And it's not that I didn't want to drink water. I just, I had a little bit of water kefir earlier. I had some milk. I had some juice. I just drank other things throughout the day. And I realized I actually hadn't drinking, drinking any water all day long. Sometimes that happens to us. Even though we know that water is what our body craves, God made us to crave and be satisfied by water, um, we just fill ourselves up with the wrong stuff. And stuff that's not going to satisfy us. And it's important to sit back and realize that only water is going to satisfy my body and only God is going to satisfy my soul. So maybe we can think together about a few things that we're looking to satisfy us or why we're not being satisfied by God whenever that's what we really need. Now, one is because we get filled up with the wrong stuff. Like I said, drinking milk or having a Coke or having, having a Pepsi or something like that. Even good things. They keep us from wanting to be satisfied by the presence of God. And so the goal is to make sure we get satisfied with God first. We make that a priority in our lives. Another reason we don't come and be satisfied by God is because we feel ashamed. We realistically look at our lives and we know we've messed up. We've said things. We did things. We, we looked at things. We, um, we dishonored God. And we say, but you know... I lost my temper. I got angry. I gossiped. I, I, I shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have been doing that. And instead of going to the presence of God and finding healing and forgiveness, we just kind of say, well, I guess there's no hope for me. That's a, that's a foolish thing to do. Jesus knew our sins. He already paid for them. The blood on the cross is enough, even for your sins. Instead of wallowing in your misery and your thirst, go and be filled up with the presence of God, even today. Another reason that we don't thirst after God is because is we forgot. We forgot how satisfying He is. It's just been too long. And we started listening to the narrative and the story other people have told us. What the, the media says, we'll satisfy you. Government says, we'll take care of you. Family and friends says, it's all about us. And we forget that God is the one thing that satisfies. In those moments, we need someone in our lives. Like my wife said to me, Nathan, have you had water recently? Have you been drinking it today? We need others in our lives to question it. And we can question ourselves. Have I tried to be satisfied by Jesus? Because we start realizing that Jesus is what satisfies. Oh, when I remember that, I don't want anything else. Finally, sometimes we don't thirst after God because we're just tired. We're defeated. We just feel so worn out, so pulled in different directions. That even happens, when, we, especially as we're alone. We feel more separated by others. We just feel pulled and stretched in all kinds of uncomfortable ways. And we say, I, yeah, I'm sure God can satisfy me. I just don't have the strength. And we forget that as God calls us to himself, he always gives us enough strength. You just got to take that step in faith toward him. He'll grab you and pull you in close. So as you go throughout the day today, choose to find satisfaction in God. It's the real drink 
that'll satisfy you and, and nothing else will do. Have a great day.